and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft II commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Southwest up against Turkleton, the Blue Terran in the Northwest. Uh, this is Delta Quadrant, and uh, after um, going on tilt the uh, past few games uh, due to rushes, um, I, I did relax and uh, finally uh, got, uh, you know, did a little more research as to what I was doing wrong. Um, bad micro on my part there. I did stop that um, SCV when I did want to continue building that supply depot. Um, so I try, uh, I do get a little better in this game. I do still have some new moments. Um, but uh, the, I will warn you right now, there is no way this uh, this game is making it into just one part. Uh, this will probably be a three or four parter. I uh, hope I didn't spoil anything for you guys, but I should probably put that in the title of this video when it is uploaded. Uh, this is an epic new battle, as I like to put it. Um, we will be seeing quite a few different strategies here. Uh, none of them particularly effective, but we'll see how they work out as the game goes on. Um, I am blocking off um, my ramp there. Um, Really just trying to get uh, the feel of blocking off uh, down again uh, for really no other reason than that. There's th there's no really strategic advantage as far as I can see against the Terran. I have said that a few times, uh, but I do want to reiterate that I am getting that orbital command straight away, so I am getting better at this. Do I have the... Yes, um, I do have the refinery up when the barracks is finished. Still not getting the tech lab. Um, maybe I was waiting for the reactor. Still nothing happening. Uh, that orbital command is finished. Uh, quick SCV. Getting the meal down. And finally the add-on. Getting a reactor uh, in case he does rush. He is going for the two supply depot bunker uh, block off. Also getting a reactor after getting one marine, just in case. Um, and so we should be seeing uh, turtling from Turkleton. Uh, somehow it doesn't surprise me. And looking at the income, I mean, he's going heavy on the gas. Uh, looking at his supply here, he's only got 20 minerals, but he's got over 300 gas. Uh, continuing to pump the SCVs. Um, I do clearly outdo him in terms of the harvester count and there I do get uh, the two supply depots down uh, completing that block off and I'm going for a second barracks and I will be getting an engineering bay so once again I'm back to the MMM build after uh, some hesitation on whether or not that was the best thing for me I have decided it is what I know best and that's simply going to have to do uh, for the time being uh, I would love to start doing mech um, but usually when, every time I try to go mech um, the opposing player rushes and that seems to be a big vulnerability to going mech is that by the time I can get one or two siege tanks down, uh, any opponent can get 20 zerglings, 10 uh, zealots, you know, something along those lines. And I simply have no chance to, to, to fend that off uh, before uh, the numbers on my mech infantry really start to, to give me an advantage later in the game. As you can see, Turtleton, Turkleton, sorry, is, uh, did supply lock himself for a second there, getting us another meal, continually pumping the SCVs, as am I. I do have the lead still, and I am pumping out that army early, um, or at least I was. I do have eight Marines on the field with the supply deep, uh, with the engineering bay going for the weapons upgrade, and I'm getting the uh, stim pack, uh, combat shield. Uh, we'll probably see the concussive shells later on once I get a third um, tech lab after that third barracks uh, does complete. I am getting marauders. He is going for the siege tanks. And we do see three uh, marines going for the destructible debris. Um, and I'm moving my marines down as well. 
just a quick note here, as you can see, uh, four marines are, are shooting while the rest are just kind of dancing around in the back. What I really should be doing is moving them all up here, so it gives everybody a shot. Bad micro, uh, need to learn that early on, uh, that um, without enough room for these guys to expand, you need to move um, your army past the point where they can start shooting. Um, but considering he has three, while well, I have four on uh, debris, we should be finishing about the same time. Uh, we are seeing a reactor on his starport. Um, I do believe he goes Vikings this game. I uh, don't want to spoil it too much, though. Um, I don't remember him going uh, Medivax as I will be doing with this starport. And so there goes the contest with shells. They're almost done. It only takes a minute to finish those, a minute game time. As I'm continually pumping M, 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 build, I want those done as soon as possible. And, my, oh, which one, who finishes first? As you see, I've got one Marine just hanging out out there. Um, I think I believe that was due to a bad rally point, and some, he somehow got caught on the other side. Oh, my debris goes down before his, so I did out micro him by accident <laughs> was not planning on that oh i do catch that marine uh sending him back around um i could probably attack at this point in the game oh we do see medivacs coming out so no i could not attack i would lose my army and there comes the rest of his marines there goes my SUV to build that expansion as uh, uh, taking a look at the income tab here uh, we're about even on terms of the uh, minerals because, you know, that, that mule going up and down does change it. Um, I don't have a mule down on the field, so he, do, he will have a slight advantage on me. I do have the lead in gas, though. But he is not getting the expansion yet, even though he did destroy those. Uh, oh, keep on wanting to call them rocks. So it is debris on this map. Um, Not sure, uh, I've never understood why there'd just be a big pile of rocks in the exact perfect spot to build an expansion. And as you can see, I've got lots of my, uh, lots of uh, hotkeys here set. Uh, Turkleton, really just going, uh, just the basic uh, one and two. I like to keep those reserved for uh, my army because I do keep them next uh I do keep one and two next to, to attack, you know, the A button, and I want to use that uh, as quick as possible. I don't want to be reaching for the seven with my left hand and then going back uh, for A. I want to keep that. Uh, usually that's uh, where I want the fastest APM. Uh, not that I'm that good at it either. Anyways, yeah, we're both horrible at APM. That's just laughable. Um, I've seen upwards of 150. Oh, I... We do see the army move out here. Um, no upgrades. Um, as opposed to 1-1 one, one with stim pack and concussive shells and combat shield. Uh, really, he stands no chance against my army. Um, does he take anything out? Uh, he is trying to focus down. What is he focusing down here? Um, <laughs> Doesn't look like much. Oh, he's going for, you know, the, the front line of... Oh, what is that? He did go for uh, the medevac, but he couldn't finish it off, so he is running away. I did take out all his medevacs early on, uh, so he is retreating. This would be a great time for a counterattack, uh, but he does have a couple Vikings and that siege tank, uh, just the one guard, uh, just for defense. And his uh, expansion is up. Uh, we're not seeing a transfer. Uh, he he is oversaturated here. Uh, would love to see a transfer. That'd be the best idea. He's morphing that into an orbital command. I already have mine up. Uh, going off a of three gas. I should be getting a fourth gas. Because you can see here, uh, just so many minerals with not enough gas is my problem at this point in the game. I said I was going to stop seeing at this point. 
Um, I'm not sure where I picked that up. I must have been watching Let's Plays where uh, one of the uh, LPers says that all the time. I am moving my army out. Um, I, let's see. Oh, uh, fancy macro. And I, I do load uh, one Marauder in there. Not sure if I take him out or not. 25 Marines, 16 Marauders, 4 Medivacs up against uh, let's see, 10 Marauders, 11 Marauders, 1 Medivac, and 4 Vikings. I don't think I knew at this point where he was in the game, and I said that at this point again. Uh, I'm sure if somebody countered that, it would be incredibly embarrassing how many times I said this, especially in this uh, long uh, replay. I did transfer. I could afford to transfer a few more here. Could even go for a third uh, base, um, even on that high minerals. Uh, maybe over here or over here in one of the other two starting points. I did scan here. I believe that's what that is. Uh, no, no scans. Um, but he does know where I am. Um, but I have no idea where he is, so I'm moving over here, not seeing anything. Um, really trying to macro, I think, at this point. What am I producing? Uh, not much, so really just bad game management on my part. As he's going for uh, cloaking and banshees. And once again, I have nothing to detect that except for my orbital commands. And because I'm a noob, we'll see how well that goes for me later on in this game. But I'll remind you again, I am a noob. I do get better. Um, if you've been watching my last games, I, you can see that I'm getting a little better than what I used to be. Uh, I do improve uh, from this game a lot. Um, but... Uh, I'll spoil it for you right now. At the time that I'm recording this, I'm still in the bronze ladder, uh, bronze league. Um, I haven't had that much time to play lately, uh, but I am ranked, uh, geez, last I checked, uh, 30? Ranked number 30 or so? Um, most of the time I lose, I'll be honest, it is to rushes. I'm always vulnerable to rushes. Um, usually if I can get uh, an army about this size, I typically win the game if I can find where his base is. And I pick both wrong places. He did not. He went straight into my base. Picked it off no problem. And checking the income tab again. I still have a lead. Uh, the minerals are going kind of shaky, so it's hard to see who has the lead there, but um, I have to leave in Harvester count, but it looks like he's leading me in terms of income uh, because I do have, I believe, one SUV dedicated uh, to the supply depots, and I've got, oh, finally moving those SUVs away. I had 16 on that one patch, so I did realize that I was making a, a mistake there. And I'm finally moving my armor. I do catch it. Uh, he did get a second siege tank. Uh, with these air units, I am able to see it. So I do take that siege tank out. Moving in. Stim packing. Bad micro on my part. And let's take a look. Leaving these marines kind of out to die. Not too bad, though. It, does look, it did look even for a while. Uh, but going to be losing this uh, uh, due to bad micro. Uh, not that either of us did very much micro in that little battle there. But those siege tanks did a huge amount of damage. But I do have a reinforced army here.